Listen, I get it. Lockdown's not been good on your waist, but you want to have more salads, but you're tired of putting light mayonnaise on some lettuce and saying Caesar made it. So today we're going to make a nice, easy, delicious salad called tabula. Let's go. So this tabula will serve two main servings or four side dishes. First we're going to start with 30 grams of parsley, 3 spring onions, 2 tomatoes, you're going to throw in a pomegranate, try to catch that, look at that, then you're going to throw in a lemon, you're going to knock the knife just gently, fix that, then you're going to bring in a hot chilli, this is for the dressing, make sure it's nice and spicy, it gives it a good kick, then you're going to want some bulgur wheat, and I've not frozen it just to show you that I brought this bulgur wheat from Waitrose. But just to let you know that the bulgur wheat needs to be cool. So make sure you boil this before you start cutting anything. So boil half cup of bulgur wheat. Now, for the dressing you're going to also need some olive oil. Always need the olive oil. You're going to need two tablespoons of pomegranate molasses. You're going to need some salt and pepper of course. And let's get going. So. You're going to want to pick up all the big stalks from the parsley because these aren't very nice to eat. Just like this. Then in bunches you're going to chop the parsley up into little pieces. You want this to be really fine and dice it really small. Because if you're going to have a big piece of parsley and it's going to get stuck in your throat, then you're going to blame me. It's not going to be nice. So dice those really small. Make sure to clean your knife off. Don't miss any parsley. Then put that into a bowl ready to mix with the rest. Now, time for some spring onion. Dice it really thin, just so you've got little pieces, and then you want to press it with your knife so they start separating it. Yes, you guessed it. Put it into the bowl. Try not to lose any spring onion like I have. Now, you're going to want to cut up your tomatoes really small. You want little bite sizes, so little chunks like this. If you cut slices and then cut those in half, should be good to go. Then you're going to add these all into the bowl, and make sure you get all that tomato juice in there just to add a bit more volume to your salad. Look at that. Now time for the pomegranate. The peel resistance. This is a really messy job, so if anyone knows a better way of peeling pomegranates, please let me know in the comments. You can buy pre-packed ones, but I always like to use my own, because it just tastes a bit better. But anyway, as you see, try not make a mess like I have. I've got pomegranate everywhere. You know, some people call me an artiste. Now for the dressing. You can chop your lemon in half and dice your pepper really small. Half pepper will do. Now you can put that all on your knife and then put it into a bowl. Just like so. Now you can squeeze your lemon. It's always best to squeeze it through your fingers to avoid any pips going in. Not that like I stopped it because I dropped the pip straight away. But it's okay. We're going to pick that out, no problem. There we go, look at easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Then you're going to add your two tablespoons of pomegranate molasses. Some olive oil, of course. The oil of an olive is always necessary. As is a bit of salt and a bit of cracked pepper. And there we go. You've got your dressing, so you're going to just mix this all up together now. Give it a good mix, just mix it with a spoon. And then with the back of the spoon, you just crush the peppers to make sure they let out all the flavour and the juices. Now you're going to add down that cooled bulgur wheat to the mix and mix this all together. Just like so, so you've got a consistent spread of the bulgur wheat throughout. Now we can start adding our dressing. I usually like to add half first, give it a little mix and then add the second half. Just like so. Just to make sure you get a nice even spread. Make sure that bulgur wheat keeps spreading because you don't want big lumps of bulgur in your salad. And there we go. Give it one final mix to get all of that mixed in there. And now you have something looking like this. Now we add the pomegranate, the one we worked so hard for earlier. Mix this all in. And you're going to have one delicious salad at the end of this. Just like the bog we make sure it's all spread throughout because you don't want clumps of anything and there you have one delicious ready to go tabula 
If you want to serve it in smaller bowls, just scoop it in to a bowl of your choice. And there you go, a nice easy tabbouleh. Leave that to stay chilled in the fridge for your dinner later. Or if you want to have it for lunch tomorrow, make sure to wrap it with some cling film or foil and that will be good overnight, ready to go, marinated in those juices. If you like this recipe, please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe so you don't miss out on any future recipes. Until next time, peace.